Would you tell your kids that you had superpowers just so that they could have a better birthday experience? Of course not, because it's deception. And if you deceive them, when they found out the truth, they would lose trust. So why do we do that with Santa Claus? So I really don't have strong feelings about this, but I wanted to talk about it because I think it's something that Christians uh, should consider. We, we shouldn't just do what the culture says, uh, whether it be a culture around us that is of the world saying like, oh, Santa Claus is the best part of Christmas, or if it's a Christian culture that says, if you tell your kids that Santa Claus is real, then they're going to hell, right? So we don't want to do either of those things. We want to think about this, pray about it, decide how we kind of go about this. Now, I can tell you I have convictions uh, that I don't want to lie to my children. And the way we handle this in our home is that we tell them Santa Claus is a great game. It's a great legend. It's part of Christmas, and we have fun. We get Santa Claus pictures. We watch Santa Claus movies. We're not afraid of Santa Claus. We talk about St. Nick. We talk about the uh, history of the different influences on the person of Santa Claus and the, the legend and the myth of Santa Claus because story is an important thing in our life. And we learn things from stories even if they are fictional because we are... Uh, creatures who create things to learn. So as we create these stories like Santa Claus, it's for a purpose and it's to teach us to be generous, it's to teach us to uh, be to know right from wrong and to be good and, and all of these kind of things, that, that good things are rewarded. It's a great game and that's how we handle it at our house. We go in every possible uh, effort, we, we give every possible effort to let our kids know that Santa Claus is not real because we don't want to lie to our children. I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit about my history and, and why I have a feeling that, you know, I don't want to lie to my kids. Why I don't wanna to lie to them about the existence of Santa Claus. I wanna be honest with them. When I was a kid, my parents went all out on Santa Claus. And my parents, my grandparents, my aunt, my uncle, they, they made these magical, like big, extravagant ways to get caught up in this magic of Christmas and the magic of Santa Claus is because they thought it was a fun game. One of the things they did, we were out looking at Christmas lights. Uh, my uncle got called in to work. We all go home, uh, to, or actually to my grandparents' house. And as we get there, Santa Claus is inside the house. And we see him, you know, putting some gifts under the tree and doing these different things. And that, you know, we all run in and he's gone and, you know, all the kids are, are having fun. I mean, we were all, you know, I don't know, probably between three and six or seven, eight years old at that time. Uh, maybe 10 at the most. And things like that, you know, of course, like we thought it was great. We thought it was fun. We loved Santa Claus. I mean, I actually uh, remember being in very young elementary school, having an argument with a child saying, you know, well, Santa Claus is real. My mom told me so she wouldn't lie to me. And when I was older, which probably I don't remember exactly when I, you know, figured it out and, and thought, oh, you know, Santa Claus isn't real. Um, I remember having a conversation with my mom and saying, you know, like, the problem is, is that if you say Santa Claus is real and he's not, and then you also tell me Jesus is real and he is, it causes confusion. And why, why would I believe you here if I'm not supposed to believe you here? You know, I want to go on record and say that I love my parents. They were great parents. I don't agree with the way they handled this, but it didn't cause any lasting harm. So praise God. And they did many, many things well. But this is one of those areas where I've changed uh, our cultural patterns. So for us, we talk about our kids, or we talk about Santa with our kids, that it's a legend, that it's a myth, it's, uh, it's a fun game that people play. And, you know, we don't want our kids going out and spoiling Santa for everybody. Uh, we're not the kind of like, well, if you believe in Santa, you're going to hell, or, you know, you're, you're damaging your children or anything like that. But you are lying to your children. And that is important to consider in, in how you handle this. Because um, there's, there's a couple of reasons that people want to take part in the Santa myth, right? The, the magic of that. One is they, well, they don't want them to miss out on the magic of Christmas, like believing in the magic of Christmas. And um, I would just say, like, Santa Claus isn't the magic of Christmas. The magic of Christmas is real. It's not fake. You can't miss out on the magic of Christmas if you are in tune with what makes Christmas magical. And what makes Christmas magical is not a jolly fat man delivering gifts in a miraculous way. It's a God who was incarnate and became a man as a gift to society to cover their sin and to redeem them for all eternity. That is the real magic of Christmas. And if you trade that magic for a false magic, that's going to lead to 
possible complications in the development of your child's uh, understanding between right and wrong, truth and fiction, and, and being able to discern and trust uh, the authority figures around them. Uh, the other thing is that like, it is just a cultural habit, right? I mean, the culture around us, people just like, oh, well, you know, I don't want to step on people's toes. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that. And one of the things that we have to do to prepare our kids is to know the truth, but to live in a culture that goes against them. Um, that's why we've kind of taken the direction that we have and that we talk about Santa. We encourage Santa. We enjoy Santa, but we just never say that Santa is real. This is a story. And stories are important in our culture. And the story of Santa has wonderful things to teach our children about generosity and faithfulness and perseverance, uh, especially if we start looking at some of the history of like St. Nick and, and different influences on the legend and story that we have culturally of Santa Claus. But being able to distinguish between what is cultural uh, habit and story and what is reality is very important as we go into our, our, uh, our preparing our children. The last thing that I think motivates kids or motivates parents to do this with their kids is just wanting to experience that awe and faith, that childlike faith that kids have, and being able to see it, um, see them get filled with joy and excitement. And I can tell you, like our kids love Christmas; they're filled with joy and excitement every single year. And you know, we, my my wife, um, <clears throat> their family used to have gifts that were from Jesus. And, you know, my wife still does it. And, like, it's, it's kind of a fun thing. It's almost like Santa Claus, <laughs> except everybody knows that, oh, this is from Jesus, but somebody bought it and put it under the tree. But we kind of acknowledge that Jesus gives gifts too. And I think that as parents, we like to see the awe and the faith that, like, oh, it's a mystery. They don't understand. But what we don't want to do is create a pathway for that faith, that childlike faith that they have, to be pointed in something that's not real. And this is, this is probably the most important thing for Christians to consider as we look at how you're going to handle Santa Claus as a Christian family. Maybe you're a young couple, maybe you've got your you know, first kids along the way, and you're, you're deciding how to do this. And you have some in the family that say, yes, do this. Some in the family say, no, don't. You know, you're going to do this. Um, Romans 14 gives you the ability to do this the way you want. It's Christian liberty to say, you know, hey, follow the conviction of the Spirit on this. But the Bible does teach very clearly, don't lie to your kids, right? Like, we don't want to set them up uh, with falsehoods, because who does that? The person that says true is false and false is true, that good is evil and evil is good, is the enemy. So if we're doing that, then we're in the spirit of the world. Those are my two cents. Maybe you disagree with me. Maybe you think, nope, this is just harmless fun and have a reason that you guys do it and you feel really strong about it. We'd love to hear about it in the comments below. Uh, I, I'm totally open to hearing uh, your perspective. Uh, if you don't agree with us, that's fine. Uh, we'd still ask that you like, share, subscribe, follow this. If you do agree with us, hopefully that would be easier. Uh, send this off to someone, see what they think, and uh, you know, have a Merry Christmas. Have a Merry Christmas. Enjoy the legend of Santa Claus and the reality of Jesus Christ in your life and your holiday season. God bless you guys. We'll see you in the next video.